Hello everyone. Welcome to Kaviation Engineering YouTube channel. All right. Uh, so today is the second lesson of uh, ATA Chapter Twenty Four Electrical System General. So. Uh, uh, if you still not uh, subscribe my YouTube channel, please subscribe and uh, share this video with your friends and families and if anyone would like for the aviation, especially aircraft maintenance. And uh, if you still not watch my previous videos uh, regarding AT Chapter 21 and YASA uh, modules, so just uh, check uh, my YouTube channel under videos so you can see uh, these videos and it will be useful for your um, it will be useful for your uh, knowledge. All right. So if you are new to my YouTube channel, uh, I'm Keshar Vikram Singh. I am a Sri Lankan and uh, I am a professional uh, aircraft technician. All right. So no need to uh, waste the time. So let's go to the uh, lesson. All right. So today is ATA Chapter 24 uh, Electrical System General Lesson Number 2. So today uh, we are going to discuss about system diagrams description. All right. Okay, so uh, this is the lesson content. Uh, first one is main AC generation, second emergency generator, AC uh, transfer, AC uh, distribution, DC generation, DC distributions, batteries, static inverter, ground flight buses, galleys, main electrical configuration. <coughs> All right. So uh, the objective of this lesson is to know the general layout of the AC and DC generation and distribution system and to be able to be identified the main items. All right. So the first one is uh, main AC generation. All right. So uh, you can see uh, this is the electrical system in aircraft. All right. So the first one is 1.1 uh, engine generators. OK, you can see there are two engine generators. OK, the aircraft, the aircraft electrical system is supplied by two engine driven generators regulated in speed by integrated drivers. Generator one driven by engine number one and generator two is driven by engine number Two. Okay, you can see generator one is driven by engine number one and generator two is driven by engine number two. So engine generators characteristics are 115 volts, 400 hertz and 90 kilowatt amperes. All right. Okay, next one, APU generator. So here is the APU generator. So you can see the live uh, view of APU generator, right? So uh, a third AC generator driven by the APU can be replaced one or both main engine generators throughout the flight envelope okay so apu generator characteristics are 115 volt ac 400 hertz and 90 kilowatt amperes all right okay next one is uh external power okay you can see the external power so this is the external power receptacle right so a ground external power connector enables all bus bar to be supplied Okay, ground external power uh, connector enables all bus bars to be supplied. External power characteristics are 115 volts, 400 hertz, 90 kilowatt amperes. All right. Okay, so now the second one, uh, emergency generator. You can see this is the emergency generator. Emergency generator is situated in the main landing gear bay. Okay, this is the constant speed motor. This is the constant speed motor generator. Okay, so main landing gear wheel well, this is the main landing gear wheel well. So an AC emergency generator is driven by the Ramya turbine hydraulic circuits. It automatically provides emergency power in case of failure of all main aircraft generators. Emergency generator characteristics are 115 volts, 400 hertz and 5 kilowatt amperes. All right. Okay, so this is the emergency generator. So now AC transfer, okay, AC transfer, uh, AC means alternative current, right? AC transfer circuit enables AC buses to be supplied by any generator or external power via the bus transfer contactors, okay, bus transfer, BTC, bus transfer con contacts or bus by contactors. Generators are never connected in parallel on the same bus. Remember, generators are never connected in parallel on the same bus okay the priorities are uh, the generator one on ac bus one and second one external power even with one engine generator still running and third one apu generator and the third one is the remaining engine generator okay okay next one the ac distribution this is the, uh, the 4.1 ac bus one or two 
okay this is the ac bus 1 and ac bus 2 each engine generator supplies is related ac bus remember generator 1 or engine 1 is supply ac bus 1 and generator 2 under en engine number 2 is supply ac bus 2 okay you can see next one ac essential bus this is the ac essential bus so the ac essential bus is normally supplied by ac bus 1 or by AC bus 2 if AC bus 1 fails. Okay, so normally AC essential bus is supplied from AC bus 1. If AC bus 1 is fail, then AC bus 2 is supplied to the AC essential bus. Okay, so now AC essential shed bus. This is the AC essential shed bus. The AC essential shed bus is supplied by the AC essential bus. Remember, AC essential shed bus is supplied by AC essential bus. Next one, 115 or 26 volt auto transformer. Okay, so uh, you can see this is the uh, auto trans. Uh, these are the transformers, right? 115 or 26 volt uh, transformers, AC bus one and two. So uh, 115 volts to 26 volt single phase auto transformer supplying a normal 26 volt 400 hertz sub bus bar is connected to each main bus bar and to the essential bus bar. Okay, right. So you can see this connected to its AC essential bus bar 26 volt 115 volts 26 volts, right? And this is the AC bus one is connected to AC bus one and AC essential bus bar. And AC bus two, right? Okay, next one DC generation. Okay, so this is the uh, DC generation. Okay, you can see TR two transform rectifier number two transform rectifier number one. So the DC generation is accomplished by the transformer rectifiers one and two. DC uh, generation is uh, accomplished by the transformer rectifier number one and transform rectifier number two. All transformer rectifiers characteristics are maximum output of 200 amperes 28 volt dc the essential transform rectifier unit replace a faulty main t transform rectifier to power the dc essential bus faulty uh, main tr to power the dc essential bus okay right so now the dc distribution uh, 6.1 dc bus 1 or 2 you can see dc bus 1 and dc bus two here so dc bus 1 and dc bus 2 are supplied by its related transformer rectifier remember dc bus 1 is supplied by uh, transformer rectifier number 1 and dc bus 2 is supplied by uh, transformer rectifier 2 all right next one dc bat bus this is the dc battery bus so the dc battery bus is supplied by dc bus 1 or dc bus 2 if dc bus 1 fails remember dc bad bus is supplied from dc bus 1 and if dc bus 1 is failed then dc bus 2 will supply to the dc battery bus batteries can also supply dc bad bus and also dc bad bus uh, the batteries can also supply to the dc bad bus all right next one dc essential bus this is the dc essential bus so dc essential bus is supplied by the dc bad bus okay dc essential bus is supplied from the dc bad bus in an emergency it is supplied either by bat 2 or it means battery 2 or by the essential transformer rectifier right all right remember it in an emergency it is supplied by either battery battery 2 or uh by the essential transformer rectifiers okay in an emergency it will supply through the essential transformer rectifier or dc uh, uh, sorry uh, the dc essential bus in an emergency the supply will come through the battery uh, number two or uh, essential transform all right next one dc essential shed bus this is a dc essential shed bus the dc essential shed bus is supplied by dc essential bus okay dc essential shed bus is supplied by dc essential bus all right now the seventh one batteries okay these are the two batteries bat one and bat two you can see this is the battery number one so two batteries can be connected to the dc bat bus okay two batteries can be connected to the dc bat bus each battery has its own bus okay each and every uh, battery has its own bus hot bus one and hot bus two okay this is hot bus one and this is hot bus two they are permanently supplied remember these are permanently supplied and battery capacity is 23 ampere hours nominal voltage is 24 volt dc all right 
okay next one static inverter this is the static inverter okay you can see this is the actual view of static inverter so on batteries only the static inverter connected to the battery one supplies the ac static inverter bus so static inverter characteristics are 115 volts 400 hertz okay next one ground flight buses okay this is the ground flight uh, ground flight buses the ac dc ground flight buses are normally supplied by the aircraft network or directly by the external power unit upstream of the external power contactor without energizing the whole aircraft network okay so it means ac ground flight or uh, dc ground flight can be energized uh, without energizing the whole aircraft network only from the external power okay next one the galleys okay the main and secondary electrical circuit of the galleys are supplied by ac bus 1 and ac bus 2 the main electrical circuits are shared in single generator operation okay it means if single generator operation the main electrical circuits are shared okay right next one uh, 11 uh, main electrical configuration let's see the first one ground supply okay ground supply fusion or external power on the ground the complete circuit may be supplied by the external power unit or by the apu generator okay remember in the ground the the aircraft will be powered by using the apu generator or external power and now the normal configuration this is the normal flight configuration okay normal flight configuration generator one supply ac bus one and generator two supply ac bus number ac bus two okay this is the normal configuration you can see generator one supply ac bus one ac bus one supply dc bus one through transfer rectifier and then dc bus one supply dc bad bus okay and dc bad bus will supply dc essential bus dc essential bus to dc essential shed bus all right Okay, then next one, loss of main generator. If a loss of main generator in ground supply only, the AC and DC ground flight buses can be supplied independently from the normal circuit. Okay, in ground supply, only AC and DC ground flight buses can be supplied. AC and DC ground flight buses can be supplied independently from the normal circuit circuit you can see external power goes to the ac ground flight and to the transform rectifiers go to the dc ground flight buses okay and next loss of main generator loss of main generator in flight in case of total loss of all the main generators and before the emergency generator connection battery one and two supply the ac and dc essential bus it means in flight okay in flight in case of total loss of uh, total loss of generator and before the emergency generator connection uh, emergency generator connection battery 1 and battery 2 supply ac and dc essential buses ac and dc essential buses through the static inverter all right and this is a transient configuration during ramia turbine extension or no emergency generator available all right and then when parameters are correct the emergency generator comes online and supply ac and dc essential buses after the parameters are correct the emergency generator emergency generator comes online and then supply the ac and dc essential bus okay then emergency generator supply dc essential buses to the essential transform rectifier and then is go to the and also is go to the ac essential uh, bus through the and is go to the ac essential shed bus all right and loss of main generators emergency generator run it means if one and two generators lost then emergency generator is running in the uh, in flight and then when the speed is lower than 100 knots the emergency generator is deactivated the batteries supply the ac and dc essential buses and dc bed bus recovered okay when the speed is below 50 knots the ac essential bus disconnected from the static inverter loss of main generators emergency generator not running and speed below 50 knots okay just remember it yeah uh, that is the end of this lesson i think uh, you have got the knowledge about all the uh, things uh, today i teach you about the main gen ac generation images generator ac transfer and uh, ac distribution dc uh, generation dc uh, dc distribution batteries static inverter ground flight buses galleys main electrical configuration all right 
okay so uh, this is the end of this lesson i think uh, you have got some good knowledge about uh, about the aircraft electrical system so uh, uh, if you still not uh, uh, watch my uh, the previous video regarding the uh, at chapter 24 electrical system please watch this uh, i will uh, put the link uh, as a card in above you can click it and also i will put it in the description and if you still not subscribe my youtube channel please subscribe and it will be helpful for me then i will do more videos and uh, also it will helpful for your friend or someone who interesting about aircraft uh, maintenance especially uh, airbus type training all right so thank you very much for participating in this lesson and next lesson i'm going to teach you regarding the system main control panel presentation under ata24 electrical system general all right so uh we will meet you uh i'm sorry i will meet you in next uh video soon have a good day for all of you